Hello again and welcome to the Rat Splatin division of the Squirrel Hunter channel. Firstly, we'll take a little look at some of the mods I'll be using on tonight's rat shooting session. Now I've struggled lately to find the record button in the darkness, now I've strapped it to the front of the gun. So I've borrowed a bead out of one of my daughter's necklace making sets. Thank you darling. The nice S for Squirrel Hunter channel, I've glued it to the record button and it stands nice and proud, so I should be able to find it a bit easier. I've also purchased a trigger shoe, a nice little brass one, makes it a little bit more comfortable on the finger. I've used them before and it makes a pleasure to shoot with them. That's the opposite side. Nice and comfy. With bro not feeling very well, I go out to the poultry farm after some rats, all on my own. I go to the duck pond area and stake out the back shed and almost immediately I have one sit still for me. Take the safety catch off and roll it with a nice headshot. I sat there for a while. I saw quite a lot of activity but they weren't hanging around much. And after about 15 minutes one of them ventures out and probably smelled the blood decides to have a lick of his friend and knock him straight over on his side. Shot looks like a good headshot, but he kicks just out of sight. I wait to see if he kicks back in again. I turn the recorder off, and I have to turn it back on just to catch this little foot waving. So I didn't bother to go over to inspect, he's quite obviously dead. It wasn't long after that, yet another brain licker came out. And as he lifts his head, I hit him through the chest. As usual with body shots, they don't seem to jump around much. I look at him, he looks dead, and there we are, all three, I dragged the lot out, bit of a range of sizes, but a nice trio to start with. I move position, I spot this fella, running around the back of the here, he goes behind this big pile of dirt, I lift the gun up, take him with a headshot, my bipod's off the ground at this point, and the magnification has been dropped down low so I can scan easier. The shot seems to be good. I stand up to take a better look. And wind the zoom in. He looks, looks like he's laying motionless. And on closer inspection, it was a nice headshot. Stone dead. I move back to the first shed. And there's activity almost immediately. I'm looking at him for about 30 yards. He disappears down a big rat hole in a second. There he goes. So I move in closer. Not long after, I'm rewarded with this shot, dropping him clean, just under the side of the shed. With a helicopter tail, usually indicates a nice headshot. I move again, into my favourite bit of foam, just scan around, just catch sight of one moving. And when finally sticks his head out, I stick a pellet in it. jumps out into view and I put an insurance shot into him just to be on the safe side. Another one bites the dust. And there he is, a nice hole in his brain, stone dead on the ground. I move back to the deck pond and catch his fella coming out of the shed and roll him with a nice headshot there. The activity on this other shed wasn't as good as it was the first time I shot the deck pond. I was probably pretty lucky to catch him. Nice bit of helicopter tail there. And the shot looks good. He's going nowhere. And there he is. I do believe that might be an exit wound we're looking at there. But he bled plenty and died pretty painlessly. So I take a walk around the duck pond area, and by one of the sheds, I spot this little fella. Free handed him over the top of the wire, a nice head impact. He kicks around a little bit, that's where he dies. Pretty quick, nice and humane. I move to the back of the sheds and spot this one straight away, without bothering to try to focus, and shoot him through the head. 
shot sounded good and looks good. He looks like he's laid down dead. So I reload. I start to focus on him. Just as he flips to the side. As I track him. I watch as he comes to rest there. That's where he dies. There he is. Nice headshot. Stone dead rat. I spot this one having a cheeky feed in one of the duck's containers and shoot him in the head through the wires. He twitches a bit and then expires. And there we have him after I dragged him out. I move locations yet again to another favourite one of mine. Straight away swap a rat. Well, he'll either hastily load and fire, hit him straight to the head. You might have noticed another tail flick in the bottom right hand corner as another rat made a sharp exit. This one wasn't so lucky. It stopped my pellet with his head. Excuse my uh, camera ability here. Well, I had a bit of a wobble on. Over to the left again, another a pallet, a pair of eyes, and a pellet slotted straight in them. Sounded good. It's really close to me, there's nowhere I was going to focus on it. So I watch for a second, you can see him thrashing around in there. You know the shot's good. A few jumps. I couldn't retrieve him, he was too far under the pallet. I would have to knelt in some pretty disgusting looking mud. So he got left there. Over to the upturned trailer, I spot this little fella run out the side. It's a good spot this. I wait for a second. He sticks his head out. I hit him a nice headshot. Roll him clean on the side. Proper toes up, kill that one. A few twitches. And back over to the duck pond. I spot this one sticking his head up. Sounds like a good connection. It quite obviously is by the uh, way he reacts. This is a half grown rat. There's a bit of a jump about. Quite clearly see him bleeding from the ear. Which is usually a pretty good sign that. And he dies out. Out just from the shed there. So I take another walk and spot this little head poking it from under a pallet. It sounds like a nice head impact there. He's having a lick of a puddle. There's an IBC of water above him there. And he just slithers out and drops into the puddle he was drinking out of. I'm sat on the haunches at the moment. I've left my seat behind. I'm using the bipod to turn it back on again when he does a bit of helicopter tail in the water. But he's dead. And there we have him. Pretty much submerged, bleeding from a head wound. I continue my wandering and spot this fat boy behind the duck sheds in the bushes, and I line up on him by resting on the post and prop and dry fire. I take the magazine out, and he's still there, completely oblivious to my presence. He's in mortal danger, if only he knew it. Well, he would be mortally in danger if I could get the magazine to fit. To the less knowledgeable people out there, this might sound like panic. I might have been speaking some sweary words in my head. But we're lining up on him again, I'm about to take the shot, and he starts to turn his head, and then sprints to the right. And as he stops, I drop him a nice headshot. And a nice helicopter tail. That was the most drama I had all night, and it ended with a dead rat. And the ducks didn't even notice me. And there he is after I fished him at the thorn bush. Probably the best headshot all night, and he was a pretty large rat as well. I move positions once more, and as I sit down with all the finesse of an arthritic elephant, I'm greeted by a rat moving in the background and one sat gnawing on something in the foreground. He's not going for the rat I lay out for him. He's eating something else. I hit him with a nice headshot. Reload. This one jumps about quite a lot. I'm starting to wonder where I hit him. It's definitely a good headshot. He thrashes around a lot. He even pops up the other side. There's quite a crater there where they've been digging under the wire. It doesn't appear to be any more movement. I see a tip of a tail. So I go to investigate, and there he is, dead in a hole, after bleeding all over the place. I change positions, and I just catch sight of a rat moving along. A nice run against the side of a shed. So 
to stake it out when this one sticks his head out and stick a pallet straight into the front of it. Reload, no movement, no kickings. We normally kick out with a headshot. So I go to investigate and he was going nowhere. Dead in the hole. I pull him out of the hole to see where I hit him and it's straight through the front of the face. No wonder he didn't come back out for a jump bait. Another one bites the dust, literally, as he sticks his head from under the same shed as the last one. I watch for a second, see if there's any movement, and go to check. And there he is, covered in dirt. He almost buried himself thrashing around. Down the back of the sheds, I spot this fella. A nice head impact there. And what he was doing, he was licking at a patch of blood. I'd smeared off another rat I shot in the head on that tyre. I smeared it up in the edge just to see what would happen. And as it happened this time when I was looking, I caught that one having a lick of it. You'd see the tail thrashing around. It's a good head impact. The blood seems to be one of the best baits you can get for the rats in this area. And there we have it. Nice shot, just by the base of the ear. And another dead rat. It's my last shot of the evening. I spot this little fella and shoot him straight to the head. You had a pellet pass through with a bit of metal work behind. It's nibbling at the summit, and then he's having some helicopter tail. And it's toes up time. Dead in the grass. On closer inspection, I've hit him right in the base of the ear. It's another clean kill. So I add him to my rat stack. Not the biggest rat stack ever, but I was on my own. Hopefully, next time, bro will be with me. And that was my final tally of all the ones I could retrieve for the day. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.